It's Saturday morning and I'm going to Legacy Thrift here in Crystal, Minnesota. Let's see what we can find. Here we go. I always start in the artwork, but I did notice that look, Christmas. Christmas has arrived. I'm excited. I will check out Christmas later. That's a nice picture for fall. I don't need a fall artwork, but it's nice. Oh, this is pretty. I'm gonna take my key off my wrist. I put it on there sometimes because it's annoying to find in my purse, but it's also annoying to shop with, so please hold. Okay, I'm back. That's cute. Cute little vintage nursery decor. Love this oil painting. 25, that's great for an oil painting. I mean, it's not a thrift store price, but it's a nice price. It's $5.99, that's cute. The frame has a little damage, but maybe it adds to the uh, vintage -y look of it. <laughs> that's really cute. is cute. Oh, there's two. They're kind of faded looking. Sometimes I don't mind the fade. I don't love it on these. That's a little watercolor. Cute. Those are, I think our state flower. They're called lady slippers. Pretty photograph. That print. I'm not into winter art because honestly I don't love winter, but I like that print. Okay, that's darling. If they had the uh, Raggedy Ann, I would get them both and hang them in my vintage room, craft room, whatever you want to call it. It's adorable. Good job, Legacy. These are dollar store plates. See, there are like, what, 50 cents cheap? Yeah, 40 cents cheap, 45 cents cheaper than the Dollar Tree, so yay. Drives me nuts when thrift stores charge like $4.99 for a Dollar Tree thing, but yay for Legacy for getting it right. I like these. It's a nice little set. Neat. Jerusalem. It's pretty. Oh, there's more of that like splatter pottery. Oh, I like this little quilt design. Oh, it's false graph. Huh, I've never seen that pattern before. Pretty cool. Here's some more Christmas over in the dishes. Cool. The ninth day of Christmas. I wonder if there are ones for each day of Christmas. Very fun. Mugs. Oh, I always love stackables. Super useful. Those are not vintage, but they're cute. And some puzzles. This is a pretty pattern I haven't seen before. Kettle Craft by Nora Taki. Oh, nice. I've not seen that before. Oh, love. 22 on the set. That's a good price for all of this. Wow. It's a great price. Serving pieces, too. This is always a good end cap. They're usually good, good treasures here. These are older. I think there was like a salt and pepper too. I've, I've seen this pattern before, things like it. It's a pretty uh, baking dish. This is cute. You could do like dip or dip and crackers or cheese and crackers. It's kind of fun. Well, it's really heavy. Whoa. Oh, 
LTD. It's a good, uh, good made in China piece. It looks, it looks like nice, you know, hand done pottery, but it's not. I always love their salt and pepper aisle. These are pretty. Oh, it's not a salt and pepper. It's like a cream or sugar. And I think this probably had a lid. But for 79 cents, you're getting a deal. And then there's all these creamers galore here. A little jam pot. That's adorable. This is sweet. Teeny tiny hand painted. I think I've sold this before. A piece of milk glass. Great pattern. I have definitely sold the pray. I think they're like praying hands. Maybe they're not praying. Maybe they're just like hands. That one I've sold a few times. <laughs> this is pretty. Argentina. Hmm. It's kind of a cool looking plate. A little gravy, a little restaurant wear gravy. I love these. It's nice, just white. Mm. I don't have a great place to um, display like my little gravy, mini gravies. I think they're like personal gravy boats or something. Someone told me once. I don't have a great place to display my collection, but I do like that one. Christmas, but really different. Cool. These are cute. Little chef. What would this be for? Oh, it's a candle thing, right? Is that? I guess. It's cute. Though. Oh, it's like a scent thing. Maybe a wax warmer. I wonder if those are Dollar Tree. I do not know. Those are cute though. Also, I kind of like this. It's pretty. I like these. They're not marked. Blue and white. Pretty, pretty. Okay. I don't know what these are. Do you put a name there? Super cute. There's four of them. I really don't know what they're used for, but they're adorable. Sometimes I forget to look up, but here's the top shelf. It's a lot of canisters. Oh my goodness, what? What is this? As is. It has a little chip here, but oh my gosh. This is adorable. What is the price? What's the price? Oh, I looked at it. I just didn't register. Oh my gosh. Okay, so guess if this is coming home with me or not. Saturday is a very busy day here. I'm guessing there was stuff here to start the day and it's already sold because it's just like, there's usually a line out the door. I'm here at like, I think it's almost 11 now. It opens at 10. Um, very busy on Saturdays. This is pretty. Oh, I thought it was a bell, but it's a false bell. We've got uh, some prayer dives. It's a red tag sale day. That's what the announcement going on is about. A little turtle. Okay, some fun pieces on the end here. I kind of like this. Wild rice is a big thing in Minnesota. I'm guessing this 
probably had a lid at one time. The idea being you could store your wild rice in it. Very cool. Very Minnesota. Sweet little mini teapot. Very busy in here today. Wow. This is pretty. Probably had a, maybe had a lid, maybe not. That's yeah, rounded, maybe not. $1.99, that's a good price. Okay, we've got a duck. Is that a soup terrain? Hmm, no, it's just like a baker. That's something I've not seen before. It's so busy in here. Hold on. Get this oh, bread loaf pan. Last bake. Five. That's weird to see an even numbered price. They don't usually everything's in a 99 or a nine. <laughs> or glass bake, I think. set. You know, I always check out the little spreaders. Not many new ones here today yet. An old uh, pizza cutter. It's totally 70s color. <laughs> These pieces have been here a little while. They're priced really well. Maybe they're not the same ones. Here's the, um, oh, I love this. <gasps> that is really cute. Lynn Morris. That is adorable. I do not need another picture, but wow, that's cute. Sometimes that sells for me. This is a really big one though. Take up a lot of room on my shelves. $3.99, it's a good price for the size. Teapot selection. Pretty little lusterware. And the teacups. Lots of teacups today. Love the knickknack aisle. Yeah, but it's kind of bad. Well, yeah, it's a boomerang, but it's kind of bad. Okay. <laughs> Literally kind of bad. Okay. Ninety-nine cents on the little left in piece. Little lamb. <laughs> He's cute. Little, uh, these are the things that my mother collected. The teapot. Adorable. Little vintage uh, nativity sheep. Probably made in Japan. It's very heavy. Really heavy, interesting. your purpose. It's cool. See, sometimes you find things that are kind of misplaced. It's cool. 
It's in good shape. Brass has uh, not been selling for me. Um, brass animals are selling, but I collect those. Brass candle holders have not been selling for me. I have some in my booth. So they may have had a moment and they don't seem to be going anywhere anymore. Molly has a little dish like this in her room. Isn't that neat? You can put earrings on it or something, you know, as you're falling asleep, have a safe place to put your stuff. tough to film because I have to get out of the way. Oh, that's a tea infuser thing. Neat. Oh, I bet this is that, um, what is it? Oh, blue sky or something? Maybe not. It just looks like it. Hmm. Definitely looks like it, but it's not marked. is must be chipped that's a pretty big piece for $2.99 hmm it's kind of neat is it like a trivet I guess Did someone crocheted Japan. vintage doll in a Christmas outfit. Mm -hmm. I always have to check the mugs, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> Early American. Oh, it's a pattern of clear glass. It's a shaving mug. Oh yeah, Avon. They usually have like a brush in them. Let's go check out the furniture. The poor furniture, I almost forgot I wanted to look at Christmas. Oh, these are, these are actual candles that hold candles, I think? No, I don't know. These are like, funny feeling. They almost feel like wax. Oh no, they're, they're not. They're painted candle holders. These are cute. Same thing, that ceramic y kind of. I don't know if it's ceramic, it's like stuff you paint, like paint your own. I wonder if that light works. I kind of need the light more than anything, but this one, I don't know, looks a little funny on the end. I'll keep looking. I have a pumpkin that needs a light. That's why I'm looking at that.
Okay, now on to the furniture. What have we got? Dining sets. For 25, great price. Love that clock for 20, 1950. Great price. The selection of hutches this week. It's this an old sewing cabinet with machine. 45 on the old dresser. A pretty um, like stone top dresser. Marble, maybe? 150. That's gorgeous. Really pretty. The wood is actually prettier than it's coming across on the camera. Looks a little more orangey to you guys, but to me it's like a deeper tone. Really pretty. Here's where my grandma Agnes had something very similar. I remember like doing this on the uh, caning. <laughs> funny the things we remember from childhood <laughs> collect planters in this color glaze this one's really big but the ones I like to get are smaller this is really pretty five dollars on that lovely great price what are these hmm. I have no idea does anyone know what these are <laughs> No idea. Got it? What's this? Is that like a thing for cigars? Oh, I love the color on these. <gasps> Fabulous. In the vintage area. I always like to show you what's over here. I'm not sure why those are here. Those are not vintage. <laughs> All right, nothing I need to bring home. I'm going to go from this area. I'm going to go pay for the things that I chose and meet me back in my craft room and I'll show you what I got. I'll see you there. Hello, I'm back in the craft room. Hope it was fun coming with me to Legacy Thrift. It's always a favorite spot for me to go. I love their prices. Uh, let's see, updates for the household here. Uh, Molly's doing well in France. Oh, I wanted to tell you. She has started a YouTube channel called Molly Ray, R-A-E, but there are other YouTube channels by the same name, so I will actually link her channel in my description box. If you're interested in following her adventures in France, you can link to it through my description box. If you are, um, let's see, to get to the description box, if you're on a computer, sometimes you have to hit see more, like under the video, it'll say, you know, the, you'll see the beginning of my title and the description, and then it says see more, so you gotta click on that. I think if you're on a mobile phone, you might have to hit a little arrow to get underneath the video to see it. Anyway, um, yes, so I will link her channel in my description if you're interested in following her adventures in France. Also, um, yeah, everyone else is doing well. The job is going well. Um, Chris is doing well in his work. And um, today we're actually going apple picking, which is super fun. We usually go with Molly, but she's in France. <laughs> so our friends actually, who have younger children, invited us to go with them. So that's gonna be super fun. Sherman is wandering around the room. If you're wondering, if you're hearing him. Oh, oh, you can't see him. I think he wants to get out. Hold on a second. And I did post a vlog from the family. They went to New Jersey without me because of my new job. And so that vlog is on the Nicole North Garden Home and Garden channel. And then I will also be putting up a few other family vlogs from the last few weeks. Um, so yeah, and one of Molly going to France, leaving for France, like her last week, leaving for France. Um, and then we went to the state fair, so that'll be in there. So yeah, I'll be catching up with some family vlogs and I think I'm going to do not a full house tour, I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs> A home tour, anytime you see a person put up a home tour, it takes a lot of work because you really have to like clean your house. 
okay, you don't have to clean your house, but that's what people generally do, you know, to present this pristine home, the home of people's dreams, right? Because I guess who wants to get on YouTube and see someone's messy, messy house? I don't know if that's the prevailing wisdom. I have no idea, but that's generally what people do. I am not going to do that. I don't have the time, but my house is generally neat-ish. <laughs> so I think I'm going to record like my decorated spaces, the spaces I've decorated for fall and show you that in probably, I don't know if it'll be a standalone video or within a vlog. I'm not really sure yet. I haven't figured that out, but that'll be coming in the next few weeks on the home and garden channel as well. So Nicole North Garden, home and garden is active again for the time being. I'm not making any promises, but I have some time right now. Um, yeah. So anyway, let's get on to what you're here for, which is my haul uh, from Legacy Thrift. So I got some classics, uh, nothing like, oh my goodness. Well, one thing that I'm like, oh my goodness, but <laughs> I did get this little piece of artwork and I did get this for the pink elephant, which is where I have a retail space, a resale space, not retail, resale space at a little, it's an antique vintage and vintage shop in Hopkins, Minnesota called the pink elephant. I have a space there. I resell some things. It uh, allows me to support my habit with a little bit of money and it allows me to not let my habit take over my house <laughs> so I can find cool stuff, but I don't have to keep it all. So that is a fun thing that I do. And I got this for that space. So the frame is a little dinged. I think that adds to its charm. I got it because this style of print it's very popular right now, like the English garden style. And it has cats, which is a very popular motif, at least for the people who shop in my booth. So that was $3. I will put that in my booth. Uh, that'll be great. Okay. And then I also did pick up, I like to pick these up when I find them in really good shape. I picked up two juicers, the glass juicers. Um, these are not marked, but I think that's fine. Um, they're in pretty good shape, although now I'm feeling a little, a little nick in this one. Darn it. And I felt around on it. I must have missed it. Oh, I see. If you go just here, you don't feel it. But if you go under, you feel it. That's okay. It was 99 cents. They usually have nicks on them, to be honest, because, um, you know, they're utilitarian objects. People aren't, like, taking the best care of them. They're using them to juice and then, you know, throwing them in the dishwasher or back in the day, throwing them in the sink. So anyway, um, this one was 99 cents, has a little nick, that's okay. And I, my favorite one that I have is uranium glass, um, but that'll be a good addition. And then I got this one. I just think they're cool objects to have. Um, this one was $1.79. Sometimes I resell them, but these I kind of like because I also got another classic, an orange juice pitcher. Oh my goodness. How great are these like together, right? On a shelf or something. So cute. I really need more display space in my kitchen because I love kitchen objects. I think of like decorative things, I am most, I'm actually more drawn to utilitarian things from the kitchen from days gone by, you know? So anyway, I love this. It was, um, let's see, I think a dollar. Oh, this was $5. That's right. This was from the vintage area, but I thought it was worth it because it's in really good shape. A lot of times you find them and they're faded because people put them through the dishwasher. They're not supposed to go in the dishwasher because these decorative motifs do fade in the dishwasher, just like if you have a glass with the same kind of thing. But this one's in really good shape. So I thought it was worth $5 and it will be really cute in my fridge. I probably won't actually juice juice. <laughs> But I might put my OJ in there because um, it's adorable. Okay. And then I did get two milk glass vases. Oh, boy. I think Maddie just got here. That's possible. I'm hearing some barking. That's okay. We're just going to finish. Two milk glass vases. Well, they were both 99 cents each. I like to use these um, together on a table. And especially like you can put like, sometimes I'll put red or green Christmas candle, you know, like long candles and use them as candle holders. I will put fall flowers in these. That's what I'm thinking for these. Um, but a lot of the ones I have are smaller. So I kind of like these cause they're more of like a medium size, which I thought was good. So, okay. So Maddie just got here. That is what the chaos was. Um, and we are leaving in a little while. She is singing a solo at church. So we're going to go watch that. And then we're going to go apple picking. 
So it's a little, little bit of chaos, but I got finished filming before we leave for that. So anyway, what was I doing? Oh yes, I was going to show you my absolute favorite item from my haul. Of course, I said, can you guess if I'm going to bring this home? Of course, <laughs> always drink milk. This is so, so sweet. It's got, I guess, what's supposed to be a cow. I think that's a cow. I don't even know. It's kind of a nondescript animal, but it definitely has a deer right here and it's pink and it's adorable. And it's definitely going in this room, probably on the shelf right over where I, where I currently am so that I can see it all the time. It's so cute. That's where I kind of put some of my favorite things because I like to see them. So that's where my tomatoes are, you know, my tomato pin cushions and things. Anyway, I think it's adorable. I absolutely love it. Um, there's my light. My light's always a little wonky and it was $1.99. It's marked as is because of this chip, I think. That's fine. I don't care. Um, this kind of ceramic always chips. That's just what it does. So anyway, all right, I'm going to go visit with Maddie. I hope you enjoyed my haul. Um, don't forget to check out Molly's videos if you're interested in her adventures in France and be looking on Nicole North Garden Home and Garden. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so that you'll get notified when I put up some new vlogs that'll be coming and decor video all the goods, all the goodies. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.